Hi guys, I am super excited to start the new year off with one of my new um, plans for this channel. We are going to do full face Fridays for the year 2019. Every Friday I'm going to do a full face. Tonight we are doing a full face with the Violet Boss um, Pro Holy Grail palette that we got in December's Boxy. I think it was just Boxy Lux, but I'm not certain. And this is the look that I got. If you want to see more, stay tuned. So we're going to do a look today with the Violet Voss Pro for my full face Friday video. We got this in December's Boxy Locks. These colors are super duper pretty. And I'm really excited to play with it. But we're going to do a full face, so hopefully the video won't be too long. We're going to start this look with using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I think I got this in one of my boxy charms. And after I got it, I was totally hooked. Um, this is one of my favorite primers. It's got like a whipped kind of a formula. So we're going to... Just get this. I know some people only use primers in problem areas. And I think that this primer is amazing on your nose. Because it kind of like gets rid of your uh, pores. If you have large pores, you really can't see it with the makeup. So it's kind of cool. So I'm just going to dab a couple pieces on here and blend it out. I want to go in with my correction stick for dark circles and I use the e.l.f. cosmetics uh, correcting stick in the color light skin tone I think this is bisque but I'm not sure looks like this and I'm just going to dab all the areas that have shadows and dark spots around my eyes and I've told you guys this before in my eye tutorials that where I put this at in my concealer I don't necessarily blend it in but I kind of like rub it in because you want it to stay where you put it which I'll show you guys in a sec. All right, so I did this other eye with the correcting stick there are some spots if you could see where you can see like my skin's kind of like translucent translucent and you can see like little squiggly veins I guess so I always try to correct that you can see it better on this side and I'll do that. I have a scar here. Long story from New Year's Eve. So we might not be doing a lippy today. And then I'm going to go over it with my concealer. Since I started my channel, I don't know if I've told you guys, but I've learned over some time now that because I have dark circles, it's good to create a complete blank canvas around your eyes, which I always did anyway. But then when I started my channel, I heard people saying, don't prime and prep your eyes before doing shadows unless, unless you have dark circles like me. So I actually have been doing that correctly. Um, right now I'm using the Smashbox Skin Studio 24 hour waterproof concealer, which I'm running really low on. So I have to kind of, I have other concealers, but I don't want to use them for this because um, I know how this one works right now. Oh my god, this is my first video for 2019. Happy New Year, you guys. I um, I wanted to show you guys when I was painting my face like this Indian that I look like right now. And I had an emergency phone call, so I had to stop videoing. Anyway, I am blending um, my correction and my concealer in with one of my favorite brushes. It's by BH Cosmetics. It's number 129. And I was telling you before that I seen on YouTube, it's uh, Wayne... Goss or Gross, whatever his name is. I absolutely love his channel, um, Hollywood Makeup Artist. And he was saying that when people put on correction sticks and concealers that they're moving them around, like wiping them and rubbing them. And you're taking it off the areas you're trying to correct. So what I'll do is I just go in real light strokes and try to feather and blend in 
where I put the product at and not move it so much off my face. This is where I have the most problems at. Now, remember I was saying about not moving the product? After I'm done blending it in, to me, it still sits on my face. So I kind of just go around and blot my face with my fingers so I'm not moving the product around. And I try to leave it in place. I just want to get it to where it's not like sitting on my skin. I hate that. I hate when you can tell when somebody's wearing makeup. I mean, obviously with like eyeshadows and stuff, we can tell, but you know, when you see people with like foundations and concealers and they're just like sitting on their skin to me, that looks gross. So I blotted in as much as I, I felt comfortable doing. And since everything is kind of like greasy, not greasy, but like, I guess you could say like slippery. I find it easier to do my eyebrows at this point before I do anything else. So I will go in with um, my brush. This is one of my favorite brushes because on the end it's got um, this brush on here for my eyebrows. It's a dual ended. Um, I don't know the name of this brush, but they get them at Target. And they're fairly expensive, but I got it like in one of my subscription boxes and I've been hooked on it since. So I will brush out my eyebrows, what little ones I have already. It's not a secret, my eyebrows are tiny and sparse. <laughs> and I just got them done. I swear I don't even know why. It's basically just to clean up the little hairs that are all over the place. I have a Chella, I love Chella, anything Chella, but I have a Chella tantalizing taupe eyebrow pencil. I had got in one of my boxes for December. So I'm going to go in and do some light natural strokes in the beginning of my eyebrows here where it's very like thin and try to stay within like a normal guideline. I don't want no crazy funky eyebrows. You can always tell when somebody does their eyebrows, but you don't want them to look not natural. I don't know what it is anymore. When I do my makeup, my nose starts running and I get like all sniffly. Um, and it's weird because like all the products I use are like hyperallergenic and all that stuff, but I have some kind of reaction every time I use them. I don't know what it is. Another thing when I'm doing my eyebrows is you kind of want them to meet right here. You don't want them down here. I mean, it just looks not normal. Um, so I try to like keep, cause down here also on my eyebrows, they thin out. And when I was younger, I had my eyebrow pierced. So I have a scar here and you could see like my hair doesn't come down as far as this side. So I have to go in and like, fill it in. Whatever. Sometimes I will go in after I pencil everything out and I'll go in with my Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. We also got this from, I believe, BoxyCharm or yes or yes. I'm not really sure, but it has the brush on one end and the product on the other. Although I don't use the brush anymore. Um, when I do use this, I use this brush, but I'm thinking that they're actually okay. I don't want to go overboard. I'm going to set them with my Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel which I absolutely love I hate that I have a mole here if you guys can see it it really makes me look like I messed up my eyebrows sometimes and there's not much I can do about it I can cake on some product right there and try to make it look straight but it looks really bad when I do it like that I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and my Aesthetica angled brush and just outline my eyebrows real quick. So I just kind of dab this on the ends and I will outline the work I just did. I think it gives it more of a dramatic look when you do that. So um, lately I've been doing it more and more only when I'm like going out. But like every day, I wouldn't do this. I think if you have like little fine hairs and you're in between getting your eyebrows done, this will definitely cover it up. Even though I just got my eyebrows done, so. So I've outlined both my eyebrows and in between here I just went across and I'll kind of like try to blend it out a little bit. 
I really hate that this eyebrow is stupid with that mole, but whatever. And I'll pull this down. Sometimes I'll go back with the original brush I was using from Aesthetica for my concealer and I'll just try to buff it out a little bit because it does come up a little high depending on how much product you used. I'm sorry about being so nasal, you guys. My eyes are even watering. <sighs> nice way to start the new year, right? So this isn't so much about priming my eyes. I just really wanted to blend out what I used to outline my eyebrows. So I went and adjusted my lighting. Um, this part, I know most girls will go in with like foundation and stuff like that. I don't use foundation. I don't like... I told you guys, I don't really like um, all that stuff on my skin. So um, right now I'm just going to like bake under my eyes. And I'm using the Luna by Luna uh, translucent powder. Looks like this. Comes with this cute little puffy thingy. So I tap a lot of it on my vanity and I'll just go under my eyes really thick. And I point it up because that's where I want... It to cut off where my eyeshadow is right here so when I brush it off if I have any fallout it won't stay on my face so we're gonna do that I look crazy I'm still learning how to use this so I'm still trying to <clears throat> learn how to exactly use this particular brand um, translucent powder but I'm probably going in more heavier than I should we're just going to dust it off when we're done. And I'm going to cut down here a little bit because when I come in with my contour, I'll come in like right around here and then around here. So it's like a three. You come in here and then you wrap around. To me, this gives it more of a cutting look, I guess. More of a sharp look. And we're going to leave it like that. So we're going to go into my eyes now, and I am going to pull out some of my favorite eye brushes I keep separate, just because they're easier to find. Um, a lot of the, the gold Luxy ones we got, and um, the gold, what was that, gold, not gold digger, I forget what it was called for Boxy last month, or the month before. I love that eye brush we got, so I always pull those guys out, and... Um, I have a few of the Vintage Company Cosmetic I ones we got. I don't know when. I like them too. So I'm just going to get these guys out so I'm not playing around with my brushes while we're doing my eyes. I don't think I'm going to go in too dark with this look because I'm still messing around with colors. So we're going to look for a nice light transition color to start. And I actually think I'm going to use a color called Transition which is right there. And let's see what that looks like. I'm going to use my Glamour Dolls brush and go in. Like All right, so I went to the other side and I tried to feather it out a little bit and blend it so it's not so dramatic because this is only a transition color. But I am going to go back over with the color Bestie um, maybe not as high up, but we're going to just dab it in right around my crease. I'm kind of like on my crease. <laughs> See if we get darkened it up a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely darker. What I was looking for. darker shade like usually when people go in with their crease because I have um, deep set eyes 
I don't try to go in exactly at my crease. Um, I've never been having problems with that, so I'm not going to lie. I'm going to use um, my Luxie 113 Mini Angled Brush, and I am going to use a darker color called Brownie Points, which is this bottom one here. It is going to go into my crease, but I'm going to try and set it a little bit higher. take that same color this brownie points and I'm just gonna bring it in just a little bit into my corners because I haven't really put any color in here for some reason color never sits right on my eyes I don't know why but just in these corners it's like my eyes are like uh-uh no just Kind of, I start it out here and then I just drag it in dry. So it'll kind of like feather in. And then I'm going to go back with the initial brush that I used for the transition color, the first brush. And I'm going to feather this and try and blend it in a little bit better. Not with the dark brush, but with the light one. So I took the Glamour Dolls brush that I used first and I'm dipping it in the transition and then in the Bestie. Because remember I used two colors. And then I'm going to go like right at the top of this. Try and get some of that lighter color in here. And in between, before I dip it back in, I wipe it off and do it again. I hate how droopy my eyelids are. They say for girls with eyes like mine to steer away from these dark colors, but there are ways of doing it, and I think I'm getting better at it, so we're just going to see what this looks like when I'm done. And I'm going to take the original Aesthetica brush that I used to put in the concealer under my eyes, and my Shape Tape, Tarte Shape Tape, we're going to do this cut crease, which I am terrible at. Let's get it in. So I'll start like right around the middle. And blink to see how high it goes which looks like I actually got it pretty good I don't know what kind of crease I want to do I guess we'll do it all lately I've been playing around with these cut creases trying to see what I like more and I hate when I mess up like that. Ugh. I definitely went in higher than I should have. But I've been seeing other people do it. So I'm just going to play around with it and see. Um, I'm going to take a vintage cosmetics brush. It's kind of like this. And we're going to go in with... Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. We're going to take some of that brownie color and bring it in with the original brownie brush. And just dab it on the corner here right where the concealer started i'll do that on both sides i'm not really liking the placement of the concealer being so high so i'm taking this super kind of pointy brush and dipping it into the brownie color and just tapping it, relaxing my eyes so I can see where the natural fold is. And I'm just tapping this dark color along the concealer where I don't want it to be so high. So you guys get to see me try and correct my boo-boo. You know we're going to have to blend this out, but we're going to have to blend it out above the crease. So I don't know how that's going to work without making my eye completely dark.
I'm sure I'm not the only one that's messed up before though. <laughs> I ended up going back to the angled Luxie brush that I used for the brown and kind of just, I guess it's defeating the purpose of me doing the concealer. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm pulling down the brown. I don't know. I like the cut crease look, but it never works out too great for me. So I'm debating on if I should just tap back in here with some concealer lightly this time. And let's see what that looks like. I went back in with my angled Aesthetica brush and my shape tape a lot more moderately this time. And uh, crap, crap, crap. There's one spot right here. It looks like I did a much better job this time um, with the concealer. So now <laughs> we can go back to the original brush what I was saying. I'm going to use my... Um, vintage cosmetics brush and we are going to do a shimmer but what shimmer I don't know give me one second I think I want to do this color called cool beans because it's more of like a goldy color and it's right there I swatched a couple of them on my think well I just wiped it off but so I'm gonna go in with this and just try to like pack it on let's see what that looks like I don't want to go in too dark with a dark shimmer. So, this is the part that I never get because am I supposed to do something? I always think I'm skipping a step when you put the concealer on and cut crease. Um, but, we'll see. I don't even see much of a difference. I might go in and use my finger because I don't think the brush is transferred. All right, this is what I got. I'm not going to take any more product, but I'm going to use this brown angled brush and just try to go right on my crease a little bit. Looks like I went above it with the shimmer. Mm. Not really feeling it though. Not. So I'm gonna take some of these brownie points and try to feather it in. But my Glamour Dolls, Glamour Dolls brush. I've done a lot of eye looks where I wasn't feeling them until I was all done, and I was like, wow, they really did come out good. So. I'm not knocking this one yet. I'm gonna leave this alone for right now and we're just gonna do everything else and then see how it looks together. Cause I do like it and I don't. I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't use shimmer so much because of having hooded eyes. I don't think it ever pops the way it should. But all right, so we're just gonna go into my contour and I have the Tarte um, Park F Princess Bronzer. And we're going to like shape out the number three on both sides of my face. If I could get this open. My nails were just done. And I'm a fanatic with my nails. So I will go in with my um, crown brush, one of my crown brushes. And I kind of like lightly dusted on my hairline up here. I have a larger forehead, so I feel like it minimizes it when I'm all done. And I'll outline lightly on the side of my hairline. I'm still going to go around lightly on my hairline here. And remember how I told you guys I'll do like the number three with the contour. So I do the bronzer first. And I don't go. I'm kind of lucky because I have like a natural shadow right here. I don't go where my cheeks are up here. Because we want your blush to be. So I'll kind of go in like right here. And you don't see it as much with the bronzer because I use a lighter bronzer than I do with my contour. But it's a nice base for me. So I kind of just go in right here and I don't bring it all the way out. And then I'll start under my ear here and pull it along my jawline underneath. So I finish up with the bronzer. Kind of just go along like that. 
So it is like the three because you come around this way and then you go in here. But I pull it from the back of my ear. And then I'm going to use my Pure Sculptor palette. I absolutely love, <laughs> can you tell I love this palette? And I'm hooked on this color. To me, this formula smells like cake. <laughs> So I use the color inventor because um, this one down here is a lot darker for me and I'm not really sure if I could blend that out. I haven't even tried using a darker one. And I'm going to follow where I put the bronzer at, tapping my brush for any loose product and then I'll just follow around my hairline first. So I followed around my hairline and I'm just going to come in here on an angle a little bit heavier than I did with the um, bronzer but I still tap off my brush I've been contemplating on using like a cream um, contour I see a lot of people using them and they only have to put like a couple dots and then they blend it out so it looks really good um, but I haven't tried it yet so we're just going to stick with what we know for right now. It's 2019. I will be experimenting more. Fridays are always going to be my full face Friday. So it's going to be a longer video, you guys. But I will start from beginning to end. And hopefully in time, we'll see an improvement in my methods. And hopefully you guys, the ones out there that are still learning. No, you aren't the only ones out there still learning because I'm a mess. I did go ahead and I like blend it out under my chin. Because you don't want a line there from the bronzer. Um... Even though I'm tanner than usual from my trips, I still don't want an ugly line there. And I'm going to take this smaller brush here and just take two lines and try to define my nose a little bit. I usually don't do this, but... My nose is big. We all know it, dude. So I'm trying to make it look a little different. I have no idea if I'm doing this right or not. I could be making my nose look longer for all I know, but we're going to see. All right. And then we're going to go in with some eyeliner. So I, for myself, have learned that smaller strokes are better because then... You could fix the mistakes quicker <laughs> and I always try to do my mascara, uh, my eyeliner with my eyes open. I'll start in and work my way out until like right here before I even mess with a wing. I always found that these felt tip marker um, Eyeliners are easier for me to use right now because I'm still learning. Um, but I do have like a really cool matte one that's on like a brush. I just I'm having a hard time with um, maneuvering it and getting like straight straighter lines. So I'm going back to this one again. Now that I went around and I just like followed my lash line and did both to the thickness that I was looking for, I'll start at the corner of my eye here and pull out, which is a pain in the butt. Sometimes it's just easier to do it this way. It's coming out like chunky. I don't know how some of you girls just do like one quick sweep and you have like the perfect line. <laughs> I'm trying really hard and look how thick it is. <sighs> But I was told if you get a thick line, don't go below it. Go above it to try and fix it. So, let's see. This is what I got. So, you can see when I close my eye, it's not exactly what I want it to be. And you're not really supposed to pull on your eyes when you're doing your eyeliner. Sorry, we're not a focus. But I want that part there to connect better. So, this is where I always mess up at. See, there's like a little bump right there. 
which means I'm probably gonna have to make my eyeliner thicker to balance it out. Mm, I think I fixed it miraculously. But I want this one to be a little bit more pointier and straight, so. Well, I might be getting a little bit better at this. One eye always looks better than the other, which I cannot stand. And I know I've talked to you guys about this before, and I'm not the only one, so it does make me feel a little bit better. I prefer to have um, eyeliner on my lower lash line as well, not the powder because I have dark circles, but I use a, um, a pencil to line my lashes, so we'll do that. Right now, my go-to um, pencil liner is from ColourPop. It's a cream gel liner in the color Swerve. And this is just easier for me. I'll start at the corner right here where I left off. This is my preference, you guys. Like, just the shape of my eyes. Um, everybody says I have really big brown eyes. Um, I like doing this. Some people say it minimizes the shape but I don't go all the way in on the lower lash line so I think that it makes it a lot better and I can't do the smoky eye a full smoky eye because of my dark circles I haven't really figured that out yet without making my dark circles look like black and blue eyes you know I'm going to add my blush there's more I have to do in my eyes but I like to do the blush first and right now well, it's been my favorite all year. It's the Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush Hush Blush. And then we're just going to smile a little bit just to see the little ball right here. I am going to get that um, translucent powder off in a second. I always take off the translucent powder before I do my um, highlighter. And that is the blush. And we're going to go in. This is like my ultimate favorite brush for getting rid of the translucent powder under my eyes. It's from BH Cosmetics in number 137. But look how this is shaped. I feel like this fits like right underneath my eye perfectly. So we kind of just go in there and sweep it out and follow along. And I'll like wipe it off. I wipe all my brushes off if I feel like there's too much of any product on here. <clears throat> I'll take my BH Cosmetics 123 brush, which is like a big super flat brush. Because I don't like how this looks like. I know it's supposed to be a sharp cut. But see how this is more blended, so I just kind of go in and poke my cheeks around a little bit. Try and get rid of some of that translucent powder, or at least blend it in with my blush and contour. So it's like more feathery and blended, not so harsh. See how much better that looks? And I still have my contour and everything. And I'll also do the same up here, but I kind of go towards my hairline with this when I buff out the contour. If I didn't buff it out enough the first time, it's definitely going to be buffed out now. Better, right? Before I even do my mascara, I want to go in my eyes with my highlighter. Usually I use my Chella, Chella highlighter brow brush, but... Um, the point is kind of crappy right now, and I cannot find my sharpener for like fat pencils like this. So right now I'm using my Sorme Brow Lift, which is just as great. And I will follow along my brow line with this. Um, I don't even know what the color is on this. I, don't, I know I got this recently from a box. Uh, it's number 30 in white. So really lightly and thin as you can, I follow my brow line 
To me, this makes my eyes like totally pop. And watch what I do with my highlighter when I'm done this. So if there wasn't like a correct shape when I put the eyeshadow on, this will definitely fix it too. So that side's done. I might want to fix this a little bit. And then we're going to do this side the same way, which I always jack up one side more than another. I hate that. I hate being like only good with my right hand. See how that looks, you guys. And then we could just smudge it out if you feel like you might have overdid it or the line isn't straight. I kind of like do this to it. Try and stay close to the line and not so much on your eyeshadow. So yeah. This to me makes my eyes like totally pop out before I even touch it with highlighter. I'm going to go to my favorite Luxie 239 Precision Shader. I know there's different reasons for using these brushes, but this is my favorite for this. And I have my dirty little secret highlighter um, called Bellini. That's the color. This is always my favorite highlighter. I do try all of them, but I always go back to this one. I, maybe because I like pink. I don't know. So I always do the inside of my eyes right here, which this brush is the perfect shape for in my opinion. I'll kind of sweep it into my eyeshadow and then I want to get the like very tip of this saturated with highlighter because I'm a highlighter freak and I kind of like tap it right where I drew um, with the highlighter pencil sometimes I'll even bring up the highlighter here and like blend it in that's a finished eye with my highlighter and I'm just gonna finish this one I don't know why I always keep my mouth open when I'm doing my makeup. It's so weird. <laughs> Make the weirdest faces. So I blot it and then I'll go back and like loosely sweep over it. And then I want to bring this back up. This is my preference again, but I like to drag this up a little bit and just feather it into what I did with my eyebrows. Told you I'm a highlight freak. I think I might need a little bit more right there. Love it. Love, 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 love this highlighter. Before I really go crazy with the highlighter, I want to go in with my favorite mascara for 2018. It's the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I know there was mixed reviews about this, but I absolutely love the formula on this. I have another one I just got from Boxy Lux for December from Lor Lorac, I think. Um, I am going to try that. I haven't tried it yet, but the formula looks great on that too. So normally if I was going to do lashes, I would do my eyelashes first with this mascara and then place my lashes. I'm not putting false lashes on today because I'm not going anywhere and they're a pain in the butt. I have became such a super freak with my skincare now. You guys don't even understand. I hate putting makeup on anymore. I love the collection and I love playing around, but it's just, as soon as I put it on, if I'm not going anywhere, I cannot wait to get it off my face. It's so weird. So that's what I got. I don't know how much you guys can see. I'm going to let it dry. I feel like this one really does extend your lashes. Last time I tried to do this in the camera, I poked my eyes out. So we're going to go back to the mirror. Again, you guys, every Friday, we're going to do full face Friday. That's my new theme for 2019. I am going to have a schedule for certain videos and I will let you guys know. I am going to go live. This isn't going to be posted until tomorrow, which is Saturday, but I'm going to go live later on tonight, hopefully, and let you guys know all the good stuff and my giveaway um plans for this channel Ugh. I did tap along the bottom of my lash line 
with the um, It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Mascara. And I'm going to use my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. I have another one, but it's very thin, like a fan brush. And I am, like I said, a highlighting queen. So I need tons of highlighter. And this brush, for me, just does it. What is your preference on highlighters, you guys? Like, do you use, use the liquids? Um, I have a ton of liquid highlighters that I have not experimented with. Um, I tried one one time, and it felt like it just sat right on my face. So I'm not really even sure how to use it. Like, am I supposed to blend it in or just, like, dab it in with my fingers? Because everybody I've seen that's done it just dabs it in. But when I looked really close up to my face, it was just sitting there, and I did not like that. Look at this highlighter. I love, love, love Dirty Little Secret. I think I might have went a little crazy with the highlighter. Uh -huh. It would be nice if I did a lippy, but I busted my lip. And... I don't think it's a good idea to mess with it right now. <laughs> what the heck is on my lip? How did I get makeup on my lip? Like concealer or something. And it won't come off. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know, it came off finally. So I just take my little precision highlighter and I will do my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, sometimes right above my brows, like very lightly. So this is my full face. For my first full face Friday for 2019, I am finishing it off with my Cover FX um, Illuminating Setting Spray. Smells amazing. Put a little bit more on. Ugh, love it. Um, yeah, so this is my full face. Um, every Friday we're gonna do this, and if you want to see more, tune in on Fridays. And um, I'll be doing a live stream soon. We'll be playing games. I have a giveaway announcement to make um, that's really exciting for 2019 and every month. Um, but I will give you guys the update soon. If you like this video and you weren't too bored with it. Hit the like button down below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and stick around because things are about to get real fun this year. Um, I appreciate everybody's support. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all again real soon. Happy New Year and have a good night. Bye.